Hey everybody, Ari here. Um, so as you see, I have a trusty sling here um, that I've been in for a little while and uh, I can use my hand a little bit, but I'm still not really supposed to use it for drumming. So I have come up with a few exercises that I can practice with just using my other three limbs or in some, in some cases even two limbs. Um, this can be used, you know, for all you out there that have had any issues like I have or, uh, uh you know, break an arm or, or even a leg, you know, you can apply these to any of the limbs that you still have working. So this is a rhythm that I've been messing around with and, um, it's uh, seven over three. So I'm thinking in three, which is here. Putting seven over it. So, in order to really kind of get that, you need to uh, think in something other than seven over three. And then go into it. So, for example, So what I, what I tried to do was take the table of time, go up from three all the way to eight, and then back. Um, and I'll do each one, uh, four bars of each one, so you can really hear it. Okay, um, doing it like that uh, gives me uh, more of a sense of kind of where I'm at and to be able to, you know, go from one to the other um, uh, gives me much more of an accurate sense. Of course, you have to practice it on its own for a while, uh, just the seven over three, right? We're, we're just saying, um, Practice the seven over three going to six over three. So six to seven, six to seven, or seven to eight, seven to eight. Um, you can also practice four to seven, 
you know, or three to seven for an exam for example. Um, that will all make this rhythm of seven over three stronger. Um, here's an example of what it sounds like uh, to go six to seven, six to seven. Hope you enjoy messing around with that. I'll, I'll come back with some other ways to expand on that as well.